I'm Tony Thomas. Welcome to Volume 10, Old Time Banjo, as easy as one, two, three. I want to talk to you today about strumming. Some of my friends have inquired about different types of strumming, and that's very essential to learn is the strumming techniques. And we're going to go into some waltz type strumming, strumming which is uh, referred to as uh, three, four. Then we'll go into some old timey sounding stuff or bluegrassy stuff which is referred to as 4-4 timing. I'll show you both as we go along here. And uh, when you're strumming, if you're strumming up next to the neck, you get a more mellower sound. But if you go down toward the bridge and strum, you get a bright sound. Some people prefer, prefer the bright and some like the mellow. And I kind of choose in between as far as bright and mellow. If you strum about middle, middle ways of the banjo though, you get a perfect pitch, but either way you go, bright or mellow, it'll, it'll work out just fine. And we're going to go over a song here called the Tennessee Waltz, which is the 3-4 time, the waltz time. And I'm going to show you several different techniques on the strum. First, I'll show you the thumb strumming. Just let your wrist do all the work. Just let it rest over, the, over your banjo there, over your bridge. Now this is a waltz strumming it all with the thumb. I was dancing with my darling to the Tennessee Waltz. There's your C. When an old friend I happened to see introduced him to my darling while they were dancing my friend stole my sweetheart from me. Now this has another chord that you need to learn. It's called a B chord, and it's one, two, three, four frets down. You got a perfect B when you bar. And after you do your B, you go right into your C on this particular song. And like I say, this is your three, four timing, the boss B. And let me go over it real slow and easy with you. I was dancing with my darling to the Tennessee walls when an old friend I happened to see. Tennessee walls, only you know how much I have lost. Oh, I lost my little garden the night they were playing the beautiful Tennessee walls. Now, down that all with the thumb. Or if you prefer, you can do the drop thumb method using the thumb and the index, kind of a pinching effect. the song real slow and easy again and uh, if you prefer to use picks like your thumb pick and your index finger pick it works it works quite well a lot of people like to use picks I'll go over a little bit with the picks here I was dancing with my darling you'll do that pinching effect when you do that way I was dancing with my darling to the Tennessee Bones If you like to use a plectrum, there's nothing wrong with it. I, I tell you what, I encourage people. It's an old style where you use a regular guitar pick. A lot of people refer to it as a plectrum. Same way you just let the wrist do all the work. You don't stiff form it. You just let that wrist lay there and just strum away. This is what the strumming's all about. I remember the night the Tennessee Walls. See how easy that is? 
And like, if you want to play it in other keys, you need to get this little tool right here too. This is essential. I haven't talked about this much before. This is called the banjo capo. And you can play it, it enables you to play in different keys. Like if you capo on the second fret and play in your G position, you've got a perfect A chord. Go down one there on that third fret, you got a B flat. One more down, you got a B. Capo down to the next fret there, one, two, three, four, five down, and you got a perfect C. Goes right on down the scale. And a capo, a thumb capo for the drum string would be essential. I've got spikes on this one here, but they make the sliding types that you can have installed on your banjo, and uh, they're real good. Then they make a, a little, what they call a thumb string capo on the market, and they're, they're good to, and they're very easy to install, but you need a thumb capo, uh, thumb string capo, and as well as this regular banjo capo, if you want to play in other keys. But we're working in the key of G today on these t songs, and the uh, next song we want to go to is, is in a 4-4 uh, four, four beat, or old timer bluegrassy style beat, and we're going to do the 4-4 four, four timing on this. This is called the Crawdad song or either you get a line and I'll get a pole and we'll go down to the crowd at hole. We'll start out with our thumb here. Oh, you get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. See the tempo there? You get a line and I'll get a pole, baby. We're going to slow it down, and we were doing it with a thumb. We'll do it with a thumb again. Oh, you get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line and I'll get a pole, babe. Where's your D? You get a line and I'll get a pole, C. We'll go down to the crowd out hole, honey, babe. There's a D. Be fine. G, 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 honey. Like I said, you can do it with your with your plectrum pick or your thumb and finger pick. Listen to it on the on the plectrum. What are you gonna do when the creek runs dry? What are you gonna do when the creek runs dry? sound at the, at the they used to play in the medicine shows and the vaudeville acts they use the plectrum style banjo and that's a style I encourage people to start bringing back people need to start playing and using them old-timey methods like they used to in the days gone by let's go on to the thumb pick and the finger pick again here and I'm going to slow it down now this is your strumming like I said let the wrist do all the work you don't have to do all that with your arm just just, just get comfortable and relax. Like my grandmother say, used to say to me, you gotta let that wrist be as limber as a dish rag, and I believe she was right. You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line and I'll get a pole, baby. You get a line and I'll get a pole, we'll go down to the road at home, honey, baby, mine. almost pick itself like like I was doing there. It's very easy to learn and just take your time with it and work with it. And the more you work with it, the better you're going to get. Let me go over this uh, waltz beat again with you. Doing it with a thumb this time. I was dancing with my darling to the Tennessee wall. Search your see when our old friend I happened your DC introduced him to my darling while they were dancing my friend stole my sweetheart from me remember 
remember your bees coming up. I remember the night and the Tennessee won't slide right to the sea. Only you know how much I have lost her your day. I lost my little heart. The night they were playing the beautiful Tennessee walls. Let me go over it one more time, slow and easy. G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-C the waltz beat, the 3-4 beat. That's what that consists of, and like the crawdad song, it was a 4-4 beat, or a bluegrass or old-timey beat. Some people call it the jig beat. Oh, you get a lot of wild air pole, honey, see how you say this? People like that pinching a thick or the drop thumb a thick. That consists of the thumb and, and the index. Just a pinching. Take your time and go slow with it. Or use that thumb or use that plectrum pick or use the thumb and finger picks. And I hope you've picked up something on this. And remember, always have your banjo in tune. Get you a tuner if you don't already have one. A good chromatic tuner and keep it in your standard tuning. And remember about your capo. If you decide to go on where you're going to be playing in other keys, you will need that capo. And like I said, the thumb, ca uh, thumb uh, string capo is essential. But you don't really need it if you can get away with just playing on the four, uh, four strings and, uh, and these other chords. But uh, they're easy to install. Most banjo players like them. And now I think they, they've they even got a thumb capo on the market. I, I believe they have. But anyway, I hope you've picked up on the strumming here, the waltz beat and the 4-4 and the, uh, four, four timing beat. I hope you've picked up something. And don't hesitate to email me or contact me. I'm always willing to help my friends out. God bless y'all and, and go a long way with it. Hang on in there because you're doing a good job. Till next time, see you later. Bye-bye.